So, what does all the fancy marketing things mean even? Your 40%, your 2 times faster, all this, all that. We happen to have a Threadripper Pro 5995WX in the office right now. So, I'll just go grab it and test it with whatever that I can find in the office to let you have a sense of how uh, fast and how good this processor is. So, let's go. Okay, so we have this baby right here. The Trabitber Pro 5995WX is inside underneath this big quiet cooler. Then you'll see that we are running some benchmarks. So we'll be collecting the results. We'll be testing it with whatever we can find in the office. And for the motherboard, we're using the ASUS Pro WRX 80E Sage. Yeah. We will be running three different tests on different systems that you can find in the office. Uh, so one of it is Cinebench that you can see running right here. And we'll be doing V-Ray and uh, one of uh, 3D Max CPU tests. And yes, uh, one of the contenders against the 5995WX is going to be my workstation. This is actually one of the systems that uh, we built for an IT show quite some time ago. So you can see that it's running on uh, custom water cooling just on the processor which is a uh, Ryzen Threadripper 2950 The other system that we'll be pitting the 5995WX up against is one of our video editors uh, system We will be running the same test here Then as you can see, his is also a custom water cooling he is running the Intel i7-8700 Not the most updated processor But with the single core speed I'm expecting that maybe it should be close to the 5995WX Kind of like uh, standard for single core tasks uh, But for multi core tasks I think uh, you will absolutely destroy it So we shall see And also my PC hanged while running Cinebench Dang the next day okay so after some troubleshooting i managed to finally get my pc to run uh, all the benchmarks as well so let's take a look at the results we ran three main tests for all the benchmarks uh, first being v-ray which is a multi-core test then uh, we ran cinebench r23 which has a single core plus multi-core test then uh, 3D Mark, the CPU version that runs all the way from one thread to maximum number of threads. Looking at the results, uh, yes, it's a lot of numbers. Uh, so for these results, right, you just need to know higher is better. Let's just take a look at the single core and low thread count test results here. So a typical example of a single core and low thread count task or workload is gaming. And as expected, uh, generally the processor that can run faster do better for these kind of tasks. So you can see that my poor 2950X in my video editing PC even loses to the i7-8700 in these kind of tasks. But surprisingly, the Threadripper Pro 5995WX also still outperforms the i7-8700 by a sizable amount, even for these low core and thread count tasks. You can see that the processor's clock speeds are quite similar, so I thought that their results would be closer to each other. But it might just be because the 8700 is older, lah. but this is still impressive nonetheless. Okay, so uh, moving on to our multi-core and threads results. Now you can see that definitely having more cores is better. The more cores you have, the higher your score. So what kind of tasks are multi-core tasks? So think video editing, rendering, 3D rendering, virtual production, or even certain data science tasks. So the results are pretty straightforward here. It is an overwhelming win for the 5995WX here. I mean, it's not even fair to be comparing it to the A700 here, but hey, we don't have another older generation Threadripper Pro sitting here in the office for us to compare it to, ma. so I just grab whatever we can find in our office. Ah. Yeah, but uh, how does the core scale? So take a look at this text chart, so you can see quite clearly that for tasks that use only single core or low threads, don't really benefit a lot for our processors that have insane core counts. So looking at the multi-core task results again, you can see that yes, there are performance benefits, but it's not linearly scaling. So in other words, uh, 
Having 10 times more cores doesn't mean you get 10 times more performance. The next thing is price. Price-wise, how do they compare? You can see that the 5995 WX is about 13,000 Singapore dollars and the 2950X is $97,000. So it's definitely worth to get the... You can see that with great power comes a great price tag as well. So here is a simple chart that expresses how much more expensive the processors are relative to each other. And here we have another chart that shows you the price difference along with the performance difference. Wait, so does that mean that the Threadripper Pro is something that's not worth to buy? Uh, well, worth is a very subjective thing and it's really for you to decide. Uh, but, but before that, how you should go about making this decision is to have uh, certain structures for you to think about uh, how you're going to use the processor. In other words, it really depends on what you're going to do with this processor. So remember some of the graphs that we showed earlier, right? Uh, one of the biggest takeaways for you is that uh, workload matters. So you have to determine uh, what kind of workload you are going to be putting your processor through. So for example, if you are telling me that you're going to buy this processor for gaming, I'll just straight up tell you no. Because uh, as we know, uh, games typically uh, depend a lot more on uh, single core speed. It doesn't make sense for you to get that many cores because you won't be utilizing them fully and it doesn't enhance your gaming experience in any way. But if you are, let's say, a production house, a tech firm, game design studio, then uh, it might make sense for you to consider this as a solution because these tasks generally benefit from having more cores so when you have more cores you complete the workload faster you have a lot of time savings so if you can determine the amount of time that you're potentially going to save and how much your time is worth to you you can come up with a number that uh, would fall in the range of whether it makes sense for you to splurge on this high-end processor additionally you also have to note that buying a Threadripper Pro processor, right, doesn't mean that you're just buying it for the cost. There are a lot of like additional things that uh, Threadripper Pro platform offers. So for example, ECC RAM support, the sheer number of like memory lanes, PCIe lanes, if you need a lot of like extra PCIe devices inside your, your workstation. These all matters when it comes to uh, finding a solution that uh, fits your needs. And also, if you are a business, there are more things at stake. So you can see that actually on the Threadripper Pro platform, if you care a lot about data security and also stability, then uh, this might be something that is worth it to, for you to consider. Alright, so with all that said, whether or not this is a worthwhile purchase for you depends on you and your use case and your unique scenario. Only you can decide for yourself. That's it from us. Just a short fun test with the 5995WX that we happen to have in our office before we send it out to fulfill its greater purpose. Feel free to leave comments on this video if if you are really considering whether or not to adopt this processor as your business solution and we'll try our best to answer them as best as we can. Peace and we'll see you in the next video.